What's good? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be telling you how toxic women destroy good men and signs that you need to look out for to tell if your girl is a toxic woman. If you're new to the channel, I'm Boss Money Bates, and this is Expensive Facts. First off, before I give you these expensive facts, I want to give you a reminder. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you like the message and you like the content that I'm giving you every single week about attracting females, about following your purpose, about living life abundantly, then hit that subscribe button. All right, let's start it off like this, man. Yesterday, I had a very long conversation with one of my close female friends. Um, we, we're always building or whatever the case may be. And um, we were basically talking about toxic women, insecure women, women who run men out of relationships. And um, I, I, you know, I had to throw some notes together, man, so I can give y'all this, man. So these are the signs I need you to look for, fellas. The number one sign is she is very insecure now i know as human beings nothing is perfect on any of us man none of us are perfect so some of us have insecurities that you know that sometimes it's hard to deal with but an insecure spirited woman is one of the worst women you can be around no matter how good you tell them they look, or no matter how good you make them feel, they always find a way to feel not needed, not respected, not cherished. And this can put a strain on your relationship. It's crazy when you gotta deal with your insecurities and then you have to deal with another person's insecurities that's way worse than yours. This can hurt a relationship. This can also break down a man. If you're constantly dealing with this over and over and over again, finding ways to make her smile, and every time you find a way to make her smile, it's making you feel bad on the inside because it's like you sacrificing yourself for the greater of the good. And this is one of the traits that if you see, this is definitely a warning signal. This is a warning sign for you to get out immediately. The next trait you need to be looking out for is when a female has a crazy need for attention. Like you can't give her enough attention. Like you gotta stop your hustle, you gotta stop your grind, you gotta stop whatever you are doing to give her attention. When she met you, you was that dude. You moving, you shaking, you moving, you shaking. And she like, yo, this is that dude. I want him because he's that dude. But when you get with her, her need for attention changes. She gets a little more insecure because she know you that dude. She know how you move. And guess what? That attention, she craves it more and more. Now, you was used to running the street. Now, she wants you to sit down and just be home. Go to bed. Or lay in the bed with me. Or why you gotta be out so late? Listen, fellas, this is a trait for destruction. It's a trait for destruction. You have to understand that. That insecurity mixed with that crazy need for attention is a killer, man. This is another trait that will destroy a good man. Because you being the good man that you are. You are trying to make sure that your woman is good. You are trying to make sure your woman is solid. But all in all, it's destroying you. Because if you're not on your purpose, if you're not using your God's gift when you are supposed to be using it, then you're going to be nothing. It's going to destroy you. Trait number three, she keeps things bottled up. In a relationship, in any type of dealing, communication is everything. 
Listen, communication is everything. Baby, talk to me. Tell me how your day went. Tell me what's going on. Tell me what's in your mind. Tell me how you feel. If your woman or if a woman that you're dealing with is keeping things bottled up, that's no good. All that's telling me is she's waiting for the wrong thing to happen so she could just explode. And you have that. You'll be dealing with a female and all the little things that you do might be bothering her. It might bother her. It might bother her hair. It might bother her how you chew. It might bother her how you walk. It might bother her how you tie your shoe. Nigga, why are you tying your shoe like that? This is what she's saying in her brain. It's bothering her. It's bothering her. And she's not communicating these things to you. She's letting them all be bottled up. She's keeping them all bottled up. And to that one time, boom, you could have did the simplest thing. Dropped a piece of paper on the floor. Came to pick her up late. And she's fucking spazzy. Yo, how the fuck you gonna get me up late? I can't take this no more. You always do X, Y, and Z. And you're like, yo, wait a minute. All this for that? I dropped a piece of paper on the floor. What the fuck is going on? You understand what I'm saying? So if she's keeping these feelings bottled up, she's bound to explode. She is bound to explode. Listen to me. She is bound to to explode and this is a toxic trait that you have to say to yourself that this can destroy me because it can put you in a position <laughs> that you do not want to be in who wants to deal with somebody like that and you have females like this you have females that don't know how to communicate you have females that feel like you're targeting them and, and that's the next trait. She makes the smallest problems into the biggest problems. This is another trait that stems from that last trait that I just told you guys. She makes the smallest problems the biggest problems in the world. Small problems that don't supposed to be that big. If you guys could have just spoke it out, if you guys could have just communicated, you guys would have been official you would have been all right but she doesn't know how to communicate she always feels like somebody's picking on her she always feels like she's the target she always wants to play the victim she always wants to be right she never wants to be wrong so she makes these small problems into large problems and guess what fellas you have to deal with it you have to shovel that shit. I'm telling you, if you see these traits, you have to get rid of it immediately, man. These traits will stress you out for your life. Especially if you fall in love with a person. You're like, damn, I love this thing. I love you. I'm going to try and deal with this. <laughs> and you're trying to deal. And you're trying to deal. And the cause is playing. And you're trying to deal. And you're like, damn, I can't deal with this shit. But you're stuck now. Don't get stuck in these situations, fellas. This is what I'm telling you. <laughs> you can't get stuck in these situations. She's drawn to men that trigger her issues. She's drawn to the alpha. She's drawn to men that can't be controlled. You can't put a bottle cap on me, but she's drawn to that. She's drawn to a man that's on his purpose. She's drawn to men that triggers her issues. She has an issue with so many different things. And this trait is bad. This trait can make her controlling. She wants to tell you what to do now. She wants to tell you how to move now. She wants to tell you where to move now. But that's not... <laughs> fuck you telling me. You ain't going to be telling me what to do. But this is what happens with women like that. They become controlling. They also become obsessive. She want to know everywhere you're going. She want to know who you're going with. She want to know how you're doing it. How'd you eat today? Was that good? Where did you eat at? Who did you eat with? Like, the fuck? Like, I ate with my mom, bitch. Is there something wrong with me eating with my mom? Why do you eat with your mom so much? She becomes like this. And these are traits that you need to look out for, man. You need to look out for these traits, man. 
Because they will put you in a bad situation at all times, man. And the last trait, she has an identity crisis in relationships. She doesn't know who she wants to be in the relationship. And that stems from the last thing I was just telling her. She doesn't know who she want to be in a relationship. She don't know if she want to play the woman's role in a relationship. She doesn't know if she wants to wear the pants and be you in the relationship. She doesn't know. So she's having an identity crisis. And this toxic trait <laughs> can break you. This toxic trait can have you stressed out at all times. You ever been with a bitch that always want to argue? Always find a reason to argue, fuss with you for no reason. No reason at all. Because she's going through an identity crisis in your relationship. She doesn't know who she is. Everyone listening to this, I need you to understand that you have to take your life serious. If you are dealing with a person that can't appreciate you, if you are dealing with a person that's bringing too much stress to you, more problems to you, then remove yourself from that person. Take yourself out of that situation immediately. You only have one life. Need I say more? I'm Boss Money Base, and this is expensive, as expensive can get. And that ain't no bullshit, nigga.